come up. Bye bye, love you. You might want to get in the driver's seat. <laughs> Put her in. Just hooked on here. Nice fish on the livey. That's pretty good, Lace. A okay, beautiful cold trout. I was on a floating mullet. <laughs> Mission Beach, Caramine Beach, Townsville, lots of fishing there. Look at that. Delicious. Hey everyone, welcome to this episode of She's Beauty Adventures. We're at Archers Point, south of Cooktown. Beautiful beaches here, it's a free camp. You can stay a maximum of two weeks. Yep. Um, just stay within your camping areas. We already got told off by the ranger because they have terrible signage here. But anyway, that's yeah, it. Yeah, I'm obsessed with this place. I love it. Um, it's free, you can't complain. Have coconut trees, you have the beach, and yeah, it's just awesome. Good fishing as well, yep. um, so stay tuned for that. And I'm gonna go out and catch a mullet with my cast net. And you're gonna come with me, it's gonna be a bit of fun chasing them because they're sea mullet and they're hard to get, not the creek ones as well. <laughs> yeah, so, so enjoy this episode of Archer Point. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's like we're in some sort of Bora Bora Maldives area, isn't it? Yeah, and the good thing is there's not too many people that actually come here. Um, just kite surfers and a few tourists, but nothing like crowded yeah. or anything. It's like maybe three or four people camping, that's about it. Yeah. There we go. Put him back in the ocean. Oh, too deep. Too deep. Yeah, okay. Took me a while, but I got three there, so. Wow, oh, well done. Yeah, we'll chuck him in there live tank. Good size, too. Perfect live bait. No, don't open it. They need that shark because that's their home. Ah. Oh, no, no, no. Uh -uh. Come and close it. Uh -oh. Am I going to have any fish when I get back? Uh -huh. No, I'll leave it. Her no, <laughs> no. voice. Uh -huh. All right, watch this. It's going to turn its body over. It's the coolest thing. Watch out, ocean. Hey, look at that. <laughs> look at these little arms. Dun, dun, dun. Very oh, cool. Oh. How cool is that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's massive. Yeah. Mala at Archer Point. Wow. I can't go wrong. It's massive. This is the biggest mullet I've ever seen. <laughs> they get bigger than that. Do they? Yeah. Wow. Oh, quick. Now it'll probably be enough. We won't use all of them. We'll have to use a couple for slab bait because um, they won't all live in there. But we'll probably keep about four or five live bait. And the rest will be uh, fresh with their slab bait on a paternostery. And our whole freezer is for fish guts and bait <laughs> and yeah. Yeah, we've got crab bait in there we've got to use and some frames we caught. Lots of fish we caught which you haven't seen yet. Yeah. It's in this episode. So. And I found some leftover fish in the fridge from like four or five days ago. Oh yeah, the and mackerel, this yeah. this morning I was like, Daniel, oh, let's throw this out. And he's like, oh no, I can use that as bait. And I'm like, what? 
Crab bait or something. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. But there's heaps of like flatties out there, like good size. I can see them shooting around about yay big. So I reckon on high tide, come here, you can catch a <gasps> Really? I was actually spearing here because it's actually nice and clear. But... Yeah, and I can keep an eye out for crocs and stuff. Oh, you can't. Yeah. But you can't. We did see some younger guys, you know, pretty boldy over the other side of that kite, over that rocks. Uh... They speared that ledge over there. Yep, and then like like a frisbee. Okay, that's Just there, you can see them yeah. in the water. Keep walking straight. You'll yeah, see them. Hopefully. Yeah. And then go out like that. Yeah, as far as you can in front of you. Okay. Yeah, keep looking, keep going straight. See them on the water line there? You can see them on top of the water oh, there. Oh, yes. There's heaps of them there, probably about 300, I reckon. Where? Just there, on the water line there. Oh, over there? Yeah. It. So you just run as fast as you can and then throw it at that rippling water. That's all mullet on top of the surface. Right, That's pretty good, Lay. Let's have a look. Should I let it go for a bit? Nah, pull it in now. I think you needed to throw it a bit further out because they're on that I edge. The dark, the dark bit, yeah. But that was a good cast net though. You got, you got a lot of seaweed. Ooh. There we go. You want to drag in it slow, so they fill the pocket. Oh, there goes one. Woohoo! There we go. Cut the big ones, eh? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Look, Daddy caught a fish, Sammy. Look how many. Wow, look. Oh. Woohoo! Tuck them in. Someone? You want to put one in? Pick it up. No, you're alright, you can do it. Okay. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, quick, tuck them in the water. Never come out of it. Quick! Ooh. <laughs> Bye, Summer. Bye bye, love you. But right, I'm gonna get in the driver's seat. <laughs> Put her in. All right, going down the point here with this live mullet that we caught in the cast net. See if we can catch a couple of coral trout or an Elytra Valley or anything. Got a bit of competition down there, so it should be fun. All right, so I got the live mullet that we caught today in the cast net. Just gonna chuck one of these ready to go on my big Stella and a circle hook. And chucking that rod holder, pick him out that way. You're running like a 7080 circle hook, straight on the mullet. I'm gonna put him in the mouth for this one. Here we go, it's not gonna go off anywhere. Here we go, it's not gonna go off anywhere. Here we go, it's not gonna go off anywhere. Would you know it? The mullet fell off straight away. Let's try that again, eh? <laughs> She's a good adventure, does it again. Alright, this time I've got him through the back of the pectoral fin. Alright, let's see if that catches us cold trout. Stay tuned. I'm just going to slab up some mullet that I caught today as well. I'll chuck him in here. Ready to go. Same ones from the cast net, just obviously I didn't, can't keep that many in a live uh, tank because they didn't die. So yeah, I'm going to cut up the mullet, chuck him on this cut and off the rig, I'm going to stab it up, chuck him on here, throw it out, I think it's going to catch something. Beautiful. Oh, 
I don't know if you can see in the distance there, but behind those pylons, you can see some birds. I'll zoom it in. Uh, but it's a massive tuna break bust up over there, or a GTs or something. It's going ham on the top of the surface there. See the birds dive bombing there? Oh, there's yeah, tuna. I can see the long tail tuna. There you go, big school of them right there. See that? Woo! Should get the tinny out and get out there. Oh, just hooked on here. Nice fish on the larvae. I don't know what we got here. It's pretty decent. We get out of the rocks though. Oh, oh, it's a trout. It's a beautiful trout. Oh, yes! Woohoo! Oh, look at that. That's what we came for. Lost three other liveys to this bad boy. Have a look at that. Holy moly. Ah, oh, the circle hook done its wonder. The most beautiful fish in the ocean and the most best best eating fish in the ocean have a look at that for a specimen i'm just going to get him off this hook and show you properly before the sun goes down and i might chuck another one out just in case there's a little one out there as well oh man that is awesome that is absolutely beautiful all right let's see if i can i'll just quickly show you this trout i'm gonna dispose of him pretty quickly oh he's a big boy All right, have a look at this. That is a beautiful barred cheek coral trout. And you most commonly get these around uh, your mainland and your islands. Um, barred cheek, look at those beautiful blue colors on him. That's a barred cheek. Common coral trout are completely, uh, they're red and they've got little white spots, but, oh, so stoked. Waited all day for this. Went out there catching liveies. Um, yeah, live bait, mullet. Can't beat it off the rocks here at Archer's Point. Anyway, I'm gonna, I've got another livey out there at the moment, but the sun is going down. I'm pretty sure the wife and the kids are pretty hungry and they're pretty excited to eat some coral trout tonight. I'm going to show you how to fill it him up and we'll get back to the camp. But have a look at that. The colours on him. As the sun's setting in the background. Just love it. Bar cheek coral trout. Just south of Cook Towns. Beautiful. Love it. Dan does it again. Yo, look at the teeth. Let's look at the teeth, quick. Yeah, look at it. Rrr. Girl's first coral trout. They've never seen one before. Shaky. Look at the teeth. Wow, is that cool? <laughs> oh, and the blue colours. You like the blue colours, Ocean? Yes. It's beautiful. Daniel's it? been going on about coral trout ever since I met him. That I need to try it. So this will be a first for me. It will be a first. Well done, babe. So proud of you. Thank you. A lot of effort went into this fish. So oh. I was, I was it's, I don't know, it's just stoked. It's a beautiful fish. We're all screaming from the car, all excited. Yeah, I was screaming <laughs> on the bloody rocks like a mad person. It's like yes, <laughs> there's people on the cliff looking down. They're like, what's going on down here? There you go. Oh, beautiful so bar cheek coral that, trout on a live mullet. There you go. Happy. And you catch that with your big rod? I did, yeah, the Stella. But I needed it because it was in the rocks and I had to get him out. So, yeah. But no, happy days. Cool. Wow, awesome. I'll fill it him up and have him for dinner. Daniel is just measuring his coral trout. Yeah, just a quick measure. He is, I would say, oh, 49 centimeters. Just under 50. Oh, yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, 49. How big can they get? Oh, a meter. The blue really? spot coral trout can get. You can't eat them any bigger over. I wouldn't eat a coral trout anything over 55 centimeters because the risk of yeah. sicaterra poisoning. So anything under 50 centimeters is perfect table size. So oh, good. anyway, let's dig in. Ocean wants to measure him. <laughs> that doesn't trust uh, Dad's measurement. Ocean doesn't trust him. Right, pull it out a bit, Ocean. All right, here we go. What is he? 49. There we go. Yep, 49. Ooh. Oh, he oh. broke the tape measure. Hey, yeah, good, he broke the tape measure. All right, time to fill it in. Let's go. Oh, don't want to miss any of the good stuff, so you always go towards the head. And then down here, like that. Bang. Look at that, look at how white that flesh wow, is. Wow, I was going to say, hey. Yeah. You can't get, this is going to be delicious. You cannot beat fresh coral trout. 
We were happy with the uh, gold spot trevally, but now <laughs> yeah, we're spoiled true. now. So, yeah. oh, amazing. Take the if I didn't know that we could, like, if you didn't tell me that we could eat coral trout, I would think that we couldn't because they look like let's such see, a funky let's fish. See, yeah. Let's but they look like you couldn't let's eat them. See. Hang on, Daddy's just filling in, Bubba. Yeah, I know what you mean because of the spots. People think. You know, like, yeah, some let's colourful see, fish can be like poisonous see. and stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of poisonous fish let's out there. See. Yeah. Hang on, Bubba, Daddy's just That's filling really in. That's really interesting. Fish. Yeah, I'll just take this fillet off and I'll show you how good this fillet looks like. I think these are the going for about $65 a kilo in the fish shop at the moment. So we're pretty lucky. There's a lot of rib bones you got to watch out for. I always go over the rib cage, not through it. Down. Look at this. Not to see him. Yes. Hang on, Daddy's just filleting, trying to get all the bones out. Yeah. It's a big fish. Oh, that's so much fish on there. Yeah. Look at the body on it. It's chubby. He's a big fish. There you go. Oh. Yeah, see, look. How do you know if they're a male or a female? Uh, no idea, probably the size. There you go. Oh, Sammy so wants to have a look. Sammy, they cut fill it up. See, for dinner, see? Mm. Wow, look at that. Delicious. All right, Dave's going to do the other side now. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm really missing you. Yeah, make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs> All right, so I got the two fillets off, but what you also want to do if you catch a nice sized coral trout is keep the wings. So these are awesome. If you, I'm just going to fry them up on the Weber. I'll just cut these out and you just bang, bang on the Weber. Happy days. All right, they're pretty annoying to get out. You got to get up around here. Get a lot of grit. A lot of meat in the uh, wings as I'll well. I'll try not to feel the <laughs> gruesome part of it. <laughs> Like that. Cut these out. Looks like body ring. Around the other side. So how do you cut it out? Just on an angle? Yeah, you just you just gotta cut this where it attaches on to the jawbone. So just watch out there. Right. And this is delicious meat in here. You don't want to waste this because it's such a beautiful fish. So you just, what you do is you just break it up, like that. Really? And you fry that right on the Weber, or on a barbie, or a hot fire. And that is a beautiful bit of meat, you just pick it up. Probably, probably my favourite part is the wings, I reckon. Mm. Can't waste that. And there we go, this will be crab bait for later, so I'll try and catch a mud crab. <laughs> Alright, so with our coral trout here, we're going to keep it real simple. Chantal's making a delicious salad, and I'm just going to use some pepper. And that's it, and a bit of olive oil, and a hot pan. And you don't want to do anything else with the coral trout because you ruin the flavour of it. Let's do it. Trout okay, cooking. Look how you caravan is kids, everyone. We also got a little bit of half salad here, bacon. Oh, yeah, okay, bacon. Guys, you know this while the coral trout's cooking. So, we started here in Newcastle. We did a 14 hour dash to Wagga Wagga, then to Adelaide. And then we did the Yorks, all the Air Peninsula, and we got up to Sejuna Way, and we did a U-turn back to Port Augusta, up to Cooper Pedy, to the Uluru, Kings Canyon, Alice Spring, up to Tennant Creek, down through Mount Isa, Julia Creek, back up to Four Ways, then Corumba, Normington, along the Savannah Way, through the African Tablelands, and down to a little place called Brampton Beach, which you would have seen, up to Cairns, now cook town and this is where we're heading to the cape. You know, it's our little pin board. It's our little pin board that we keep for a record. It's pretty flimsy but you know we love it. So and then when we come back down we'll hit up Mission Beach, Caramine Beach, Townsville, lots of fishing there, Ellie Beach, Mackay, Rocky, all that sort of stuff. And then we we'll hopefully to be home for Newcastle for Christmas. And see hopefully. some family. Mama's expecting us. <laughs> yeah. Nanny, who's who's expecting us for Christmas? No there it is, the end product. Happy with that. Slice of lemon on the side. Let's have some cold trout. Alright, so we're going to try this cold trout. First impression. 
I like it. That's really good. You're good? Look at that. Yeah, just, that's amazing. Best fish you can catch, right? That's no lemon either. Like, that's natural taste. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Look at the girls there. Wow. Oh, yeah. Love it. Love it. Wow. Right. Thanks for watching. Let's go. All right, so we're just launching the tinny off this beach here at Archer Point. Chantel's in the driver's seat. I'm just holding on to the tinny so it doesn't ram into the back of the tray there. They're nice and slow, yeah. We've just gone down there. Oh, the drive thing. He's doing a good job. All right. Yeah, just go low and stick to the left where that, see where that soft sand is? Yeah. Stick to the left of that where those other tracks are. All right, and go to what? Yeah, this goes slow, all right? That's it, let's go. That's it, that's all you gotta do. This goes slow. That's it. And stick to the left. Just keeping the weight on you. Yeah, it's good. All right, six to the left. Woo! Six to the left. Look at that. That's how we do it. Cheers for adventures. Beach launch. Gonna go over that rocky point, mate, and catch some fish. Hopefully the wind stays down. I was taking the motor off, and then he's going to go out fishing, which is exciting. Might catch big again. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And the girls are just... Have a little run around. All right, always the fun part is uh, lifting the motor off. Sorry, something was fun. Was it? Thank you. Line it up in the middle. Yep. Has there ever been like people's motors dropping off? Yep. So many people don't tighten up their um nuts enough and they, they just fall out like and they can just one wave enough to rattle really? them loose and then they just fall off and then you're stranded out in the ocean so yes. a bit of trouble then that would be me <laughs> <laughs> i would be that out. person <laughs> all right it's pretty tight and it go nowhere oh, right. good you'll get a bit of service out there or you won't uh, i don't think i will okay <laughs> Summer, out of the water there, please. Let's go, 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 go. So I'm just using the GPS on my phone and I'm just on this side here. You can see there's a ledge here that goes from five meters to about 20. So that's where I'll be fishing here on this ledge. And I'm just looking for, some, the sound is catching up, but I'm just looking for some sort of structure, some bait balls or anything on the sound. That looks pretty promising. Definitely pick up a couple of reef fish here, cold trout. Yeah, that looks nice there, bombing there. Bait fish on the bottom. Holding down there, I'm sort of on that ledge bit as well. So it's all about using your sounder properly if you're going to try and catch fish. Oh, there's a little bit of a bust up over there on that reef as well. So, nah, it's perfect weather. I can't believe I'm out here, it's perfect. There's another boat over there coming around. But yeah, let's do it.
All right, when you're I'm always uh, putting mullet on, I always like to scale them before you slab them because it makes the hook penetration better. Just give a quick scale. Get all of them off. All right, I'm gonna take a nice slab off. Look at that, beautiful. Just gonna go straight on the circle hook. There you go, perfect. Just gonna chuck him back that way. With the ledges. And hopefully we catch a fish. Right, I've just repositioned myself into the shallow a bit. Got the anchor rope right out. And you can just see the colour difference here. There's a ledge right here. So I've dropped the, the baits in on this ledge here. So usually cold trout and other predatory fish control the edges. Um, and then yeah, we hook up. And you get you do get them in the shallow water, but you're probably better off with a spear gun. I would love to jump in and spear right now, but I don't have a buddy with me at the moment. Um, but if I did, I'd be getting wet and I'd be cleaning up all through here. Uh, the water's really clean too, it's got good fish as well. Uh, there's a few birds dive bombing over there, I think there's a bit of bait fish uh, on the shallows of the reef. And I think a couple of GTs are smashing them up. So if I don't have much luck here with cold trout, I'll probably go back along there and just drift with the wind and click some poppers or some uh, some lures on that shallow reef there. I might pick up a trevally or something like that. Hang on. Come on. Oh, you're joking. You're joking. Just dropped him. Something big, just had a go at that. Oh. All right, so I've actually hooked onto a fish here, but he's taking me into the coral, so let's let the slack go. Hopefully it comes out of the reef. And I've just pulled the anchor up a bit to drift back on this side of the coral. Let's try and get him out. I can feel him on there, wrapped in a way. I don't know, probably a trout, but he hit the rod. Um, Taking me under the bloody reef, so. Oh, I almost put him out there. Yeah, put him on there. He's going right under a rock, I reckon. There we go. Yeah, there's definitely something on there. I can feel it kicking around and stuff. Beautiful day though. So if you've got a tinny and you like don't don't mind doing a bit of beach launching and a bit of full driving down to the beach, definitely worth coming here and having a crack at fishing. Highly recommend it. It's been probably Chantel and I's favourite spot so far up here in far north Queensland. That and Corumba obviously as well. Um, Cooktown's nice, but we prefer it out here in the uh, you know the free camping sort of stuff as well. But um, yeah, if I can get this fish out, I'll show you guys. Continue on. Don't want to snap the line either. <laughs> yeah, I was just sitting here and I seen a couple of taps on there and I grabbed the rod and I've gone to put the tension on him. And I've just been hit by reef straight away. Oh, that might be out of here. Oh, come on, boy. Get him out of that reef. Cold trout love hiding in structure. There we go. Get on this other side of it. It's a window. Oh yeah, he's in there. Oh yeah, I can feel him in there kicking around. Get out of that reef. I don't want to snap the line and lose my gear either. I can feel him underneath the bloody rock kicking around in there. Oh no! You gotta pay your taxes and you gotta pay your fishing from like that's just oh no good. Oh, I just feel like I was just getting a bit of um getting him out of that rock too. Ah oh, lost me lost everything. Oh sorry about that guys. Next time I might rig up a lure now and just do some drifting. Go along that reef with a vibe or a little lure and see if I can pick up a coral trout that way. Mull it out. I just I've managed to burn it into mackerel. You probably they'll probably hit it on the surface. Watch this. Here he goes. Here he goes. Oh, I was 
whining in. Oh yeah, he's got it now. Big mackerel. There he is. Woohoo! Look at that. Get out of that. It's not a mackerel, it's something else. Because he's gone. What is going on here? That was not a mackerel. Mackerel's never going to reef. There we go. Now he's out. Could be a shark. Very sharkish, maybe. Could be a big cold trout. There you go, everybody. So you catch a par cheek cold trout. Just uh, burled in him, came and smashed that mackerel, took me straight into a reef. I thought, like, that can't be a mackerel. Mackerels never go into reefs, they usually run out to open water. But whew, that is a beauty. Get him down here, look at that. That's what we came here for. Beautiful cold trout. Oh, better get rid of this GoPro and I'll bring him up with you. See, there you go, beautiful cold trout. I was on a floating mullet. Uh, I've been flicking, flicking, flicking for a while now. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna anchor and burly up. And I managed to burly this guy in. That is a beautiful cold trout. So happy about that. That's, I'll just give him a quick measure. He's probably, yeah, he's about 50 centimeters. Oh, look at that, love the colors on him. Just can't beat him. Just gave him a quick bleed then. We go straight in the esky and another beautiful dinner. But yeah, just, this is why we do it. This is why we go out here, this is why I wanted to bring the tinny along, you know, to catch fish like this, fish of a lifetime sort of stuff. No, I absolutely love it. Anyway, if you're liking what you see, make sure you like and subscribe. We appreciate your support. All right, let's go. Woohoo! Someone looks like a little toga princess. Okay. Looks like a little toga princess. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, girl. Woohoo! All right. Anyway, happy wife, happy life. Kiss. Fun. Happy. Kiss. I wasn't sure if I was um, coming back at the right time. Because nah, perfect timing. Wind blew up. Lunchtime. Yeah, I was like, oh. Yeah. Uh, Sammy, now out of there. Your dirty feet. Uh -uh. All right, so I've just taken the first fillet off of that big cold trout. He's actually a bit bigger than the last one. He went over 52. I measured him before, but yeah, a beautiful fish. Look at that. The meat, I cannot beat that. Delicious, I'm gonna skin that as well. There's a bit of salt water down there, I'll chuck the fillet in there in a minute. And I've just made the incision here. But I'll just gonna quickly fill out this side and then I'll show you how to skin them. Pretty easy to do. They are the best. I said it before on the barbecue. We've still got the other one ready to go. Look at that. You can even take the cheek meat out. It's a bit of cheek meat out. Oh, here. If you cook up the whole fish, there's a big bit of. You can see how I'm pushing it. There's a big bit of cheek meat there as well. So it's good for. If you had a soup, you could do a curry with it, with the frame and that. Make a beautiful stock out of it. Anyway, that's going to be crab bait again. We'll put these in the freezer for another time. Alright. Uh, I'm just going to give the uh, knife a touch up. Alright. By the tail, hold your thumb there, small incision. Get down low. There we go. Bang. Oh. Mm. 
Now, next one. Happy with that. It's not too bad. Here we go, two beautiful skinless coral trout for this. Obviously back seal is the best way to keep your fish fresh, but leaving salt water on there and freezing it is the best way as well. Just when you freeze it and then you thaw it out, it's just better. Right. That's a big fillet there. How long does that stay like that for? Or how long can you keep it like that? Sorry. That will stay fresh for like six months. But you'd eat it, we'll eat it in like a week. But <laughs> yeah. It's just the best way of preserving the fish and the flavour. Yeah. That's one. Pack up day today. We are leaving. Out of here. Did you have a good time at Archer Point? Yeah, I did. Caught lots of coral trout. Everyone's <laughs> <laughs> happy. What a but, um, lid no, for this. We had a really good experience. The car wash has got no lid. Oh my gosh, serious? Yeah, we're in a lot of trouble. <gasps> and you put it in a holy bucket. Oh, it's not holy. <laughs> you <spot> it. <laughs> Alright, anyways, that's the end of the trip. And the kettle is whistling. Don't forget to, Daniel. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Dan's just doing a few final touches on the caravan before we head off. <laughs> final touches? <laughs> go. The car needs a good wash though, like it is dirty. Look how dirty it is. <laughs> Pretty <good. laughs> So thanks guys for watching this episode of She's a Beauty Adventures. Hope you enjoyed it and we're heading up the Cape now so the next time you see us <laughs> we won't have a caravan. <laughs> yeah we won't, we're tenting it so. Tenting it? <laughs> I think tenting. <laughs> tenting, camping I think. Glamping, we're going to yeah. glamp it. Yeah, glamp so. it up. Yeah, right. we're heading up the top and yeah we'll see you there. See you there. Come along for the ride. I'll be square everyone. <laughs>